Hello. In this bunch of specimens, I found a blob. A black blob like creature. Put it in a little tray here that I prepared. Found it at work at the fish plant here in Nova Scotia. Looks like there's two distinct sections to this black blob. Black on one side, looks like brownish color on the other side here. So I'll take a few photographs of it, post them on Facebook. Black blob from off Nova Scotia. And here we have the mysterious black blob creature here. And the further examination is distinct body parts. As you can see, almost like a head and tail. from the top black blob creature from Nova Scotia deep sea So, hello, Derek Jones back here again. I've washed the black blob creature off, and I would say it looks like it's got tentacles. You ask me. I'll try to be gentle with it. I might freeze them for preservation temporarily. So I washed him off and different shape again really strange I've seen before but not this large blob creature from Nova Scotia 500-600 meters deep caught as fishing bycatch Hello, I'm Derek Jones here, back here with another deep sea black blob of some kind. Just like the other specimen, it's obviously broken. Here's another section here. Segment. Some kind of a ribbon like but it's coming apart on the end here really not that much smell to it no more smell than a fish sea jelly or whatever strange looking blob here deep sea black blob from Nova Scotia scales on it or got it out of silver hake net silver hake trawler got it from off coast of Nova Scotia and probably at least 500 fathoms deep 
500 meters deep, excuse me. 250 fathoms. And talons broken like the other species. Really strange. And it has two worms. Coming out of the side there. Oh, the two worm. Of something going in at the side, tentacle stuck right in there. I think it's a worm, I can't. I don't know if it's permanently attached to this or not. Into firmly into the flesh. So, I don't know if that's part of the anatomy or not. Mysterious black blob. Hello, Derek Jones here again. And listen, six days after I found my first blob, I found five blobs in one day. Just one blob. There's two blobs. Three blobs. Four blobs. And a cute little baby blob I'll put the blobs back on ice here temporarily and as you can see each one of them has a mouth opening at both ends where obviously it lies on the ocean bottom filter feeds the seawater through the openings Let's keep them cold seems to pre preserve them in hardly any odor whatsoever almost none little tiny fishy smell as you can see there's other crinoid type growth coming from them that mouth is here you can open each of these mouths see inside you can on the a smooth lining inside. Very strange indeed. I'm sure they're a colonial tunicate. 
like most blobs are colonial except for blob fish this is no fish it's a genuine deep sea blob one of seven I found here in Nova Scotia for the last few days Blobs. Deep sea blobs from Nova Scotia. I have no experience with them whatsoever. But very unusual. Say the least. The one is roughly eighteen centimeters long. See, they all have the mouth openings, smooth lining on the inside. The smaller one has an opening here. And they are torn up by catching the trawl deep sea bottom trawls are by catchy in but some are saying less damage than the others there you have it let me know what you know about deep sea blobs thank you and here we have the black blob inside of the, some alcohol. And it really kept its shape. Rubbing alcohol to be exact. Really didn't change much by putting it into the rubbing alcohol. No discoloration of the rubbing alcohol. Very little odor besides the rubbing alcohol. Hmm. We're going to keep its shape quite well. I didn't see any antennae on the small blob that I have here in alcohol. Anyway. an alcohol test. Here almost a week later after being placed in a jar of uh, rubbing alcohol they've uh, white spots have appeared in these black blobs tissue. Whether it's eggs or or whatever, who knows? 
Yeah, white spots have appeared. I don't know how good you can see it here. I still don't know what the white all these deep sea black blobs are. Must believe this some kind of tunicate. I'm sure somebody out there knows. Deep sea black blobs from Nova Scotia. That's what I'm going with. Thank you. Hello, Derek Jones here again with more deep sea black blobs. Fished up from right off Nova Scotia. Here you can see the worm or crinoid like tentacle sticking out the broad side of that one. I still don't know what these blobs are. They don't have a clue. I think it's more of them I found. See this animals of some type living inside. Probably a colony, but as you can see, they're like broken, tubular, but obviously broken from being trawled from great depth. Probably 500 meters or more. And this one, a piece of blob, obviously broken and started to decompose and there's a smell it smells a little bit like sewage and you can see like rust attached rust that was attached to a shipwreck or something we'd really like to see some video of it in the wild It or whatever it is. Things to come, I'm sure. And here is a piece of blob that's been dried. Dried just like a potato chip. So it dries completely. Dry it on a newspaper. So what these creatures are, I still don't know. Okay, goodbye. Here we have another blob, or, or like a vent of a sewage-based bacterial mat on the bottom of Nova Scotia. And I believe the openings here is where the methane gas leaks out. 
to these like volcanoes of this sewage based bacterial mat. And then somehow the bacteria live inside of this to form this vent. And there's like worms growing inside. There is life growing inside of these poopsicles, like I now call them. So there's your habit. Genuine poopsicle from deep sea Nova Scotia. So I'm taking this poopsicle blob and I'll dry it and it should come out paper thin like this other piece of poopsicle that I've dried. You say people, we're talking 500 meters deep here off off of Nova Scotia where these poopsicles are coming from. There's another broken piece here. Jeez, probably that's why so many fish there to start with. Here is the blob. Here's that same blob after it's been dried a few days. You can see the worms baby worms that's growing inside of this this bacterial mat that forms some kind of a vent mini volcano and you can see the growth the growth rings I don't know probably months, maybe weeks of growth there. You can see where it was torn from its larger mat. Lights a feather. But, yep, some kind of bacterial vent growing off the coast of Nova Scotia and I believe it's based on the pollution that is accumulating on the bottom but yeah really don't know for sure Well, here is the poopsicle that I've dried. It'll probably dry out even more. It'll probably even shrink up even more as it dries out further. You can see the worms in it. The white specks inside were silver hake scales from being in the same trawl for a few hours, dragged around. piece starting to harden up quite soon. Here's the severely damaged poopsicle that I got the other day. It's not completely dried yet. And the some of them being damaged by trawlers seem to decompose. And when they decompose they smell exactly like sewage. But, mystery solved. The mysterious black blobs are actually poopsicles from the same bacteria that gives us rusticles on the wreck of the Titanic or whatever. Lives with forms a symbiotic relationship 
with a sewage sludge that's laying on the bottom of Nova Scotia and it's alive it grows just like the rusticles so there you have it a new species poopsicles keep flushing to give the fish off Nova Scotia something to eat thank you I'm back with more blob coverage especially this blob here really fascinated me As you can see you got a white blob or whatever growing on a black blob I guess you can see that it's different than the surrounding tissue of the blob whether it's a new organism or part of this black blob anatomy I don't know but fascinating trying to get some light on the subject here so you can see it you can see it here but another fascinating thing about this specimen is the worm I think it's a feather worm that's growing inside forms a symbiotic relationship obviously with this blob but there's tiny baby worms coming out of this larger worm embedding itself into this black blob's tissue probably to break away and form other black blobs with these feather worms living a symbiotic relationship with them in several hundred meters of water off Nova Scotia at least who knows relentless bottom dragging overfishing climate change petroleum seismic testing who knows why these blobs are finally coming to the light now really mysterious you can see there's a lot of worms in this guy here This one's more damaged than the other, the last specimen that I collected. I don't have any access to any more specimens right at the time. I'm looking for specimens of deep sea black blobs from Nova Scotia. If any uh, find one, just put it in a plastic bag and freeze it date, location, whatever fascinating until I find out what they are they're really mysterious and I don't believe they grow all that large Probably 
maybe half a meter at the max. I believe the long-lived species, according to these feather worms. I think as you can see that they're a bit blurring. Obviously, growth rings, whether they're annual or not, it could be. Those are hake scales still embedded into the flesh. And that's a great specimen as well. see the growth rings there obvious some of the salt that's embedded in these blobs is coming to the surface six months after it's been dried really mysterious Some hake bones there, silver hake bones. And I believe that's the foot. It sits on the ocean floor. Or it gently moves along. Who knows? You all know now. Deep sea black blobs exist off Nova Scotia. See the tiny worms. I could see them with my new macro lens on my Canon camera. I don't know if you can see tiny infant feather worms. I couldn't see them by eye, but I could see them with a the macro lens. it for the black blobs for now thanks for watching please comment see ya hello Derek Jones back here February 12th 2015 with another specimen of Nova Scotia deep sea black blob probably from 250 to 500 meters deep or more I don't have a clue what they are. Too many kit sponge. Something else. Bacterial, but there's nothing living in this one. But I think this is just a piece. I think it's broken off the top or actually doesn't look like it's intact could have been damaged 
as it was in a bycatch of deep sea trawling off Nova Scotia. The trawl may have damaged him some bit, but. I think that's the top part of his mouth, right there. I think that's where it grows, on the top. Now, unless this is a young one, but... Maybe it could be intact, who knows? specimen of blob Or it's cut into the deep sea silver head draw. February 2015. What am I? Am I a new species? See black blob signing off. Hello, Derek Jones, back here again with more blobs. A few days ago, I never heard of a blob. Yesterday, I discovered five blobs in one day. I now believe they're colonial tunicates. Tunicates of some kind or another. I have them on the ice to keep them quite well. Very little odor. Very little odor coming from these. Here we have a baby blob. Smaller formation. There you have it. Lobs from Nova Scotia. Some kind of a black blob like creature that I found at work last night from off the coast of Nova Scotia. 
have no idea what they are, but this is a fantastic specimen. Shows two different sections joined together here, obviously. Different colors. They can male and female fuse together, maybe. Who knows? <coughs> So here you go, black blob-like creature from Nova Scotia. And we have distinct body parts of this black blob-like creature. More dissection of the creature, whatever it is. It's all one creature, whatever it is. So this creature is taking shape here. Definitely has a front and back. But yet still, don't have a clue here what it is. So I washed the blob creature off, and this is what I got distinct tentacles, you can imagine. Black Bob Creature from Nova Scotia. About 500, 600 meters. Hello, this is Derek Jones with another deep sea black blob creature of some kind. So obviously, I believe it's a head section and the back section there. I don't know what it is. Not all that much smell to it. Doesn't smell no different than a fish actually. It's like flabs. Flabs of flesh. Really strange. Obviously something growing out of the side of this black blob. Seems firmly attached. Can't tell if there's something growing. A worm or a worm of some sort or part of its anatomy just can't tell. Really strange indeed.